Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome to All Walls Must Fall. This is something that I saw on Steam quite a while ago. Um, I've had it in my library for a little while as well, so I thought, you know, I've got some free time up in my week now, I thought I'd give it a go. It's a tech noir tactics game, if you couldn't tell from what it says on screen. Um, it seems to be a kind of an isometric... Um, 3D, you know, kind of 3D top-down, three-quarter angle thing, kind of like XCOM, kind of like the XCOM games. Um, I don't know much about the game other than it's kind of, you know, tactics RPG type thing. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dive in really and see what it's all about because I love the kind of cyberpunk style of things where everything's kind of like all neon and mad. <laughs> Neon futuristic stuff. I really like it. Um, so, campaign seed random... Okay. Don't know what's going on there. Dynamic tutorials. Yep, sounds fine. Um, decision timer and permadeath. Now, I'm going to leave those off. Um, yep, we'll just begin. Okay. Move, shoot, and interact. Dash, aim, shot. WSD to move the camera. Q and E to rotate. Okay. This game features procedural generation. Each playthrough will be different. Your campaign progress is automatically saved. Cool. The wall will stand in 50 and even 100 years if the reasons for it are not removed. Eric Honecker, January 19th, 1989. Is that in reference to the Berlin Wall, or...? Oh, yeah, it is. The Cold War never ended. Yet the end lies ever close. Will this be the last time...? Whoa, okay, what's going...? Mm. You have been redirected to minus ten hours. There has been a catastrophic event. Your agent awaits you. This is your agent. You can call him Kai. Hello, Kai. How are you? Right. Okay. Hey there. Not sure whether we've met before. Don't think we have, Kai. I've been doing this for a very long time. Have you? I like the metal arm. It was very cool. Very Barrett Wallace. Uh, it gets pretty confusing from my perspective. You're here to command Kai from your unique position in time. Oh, okay. So we're, we're kind of time heroes or something. <laughs> time bandits. We need someone outside this timeline to coordinate Kai's tactical time travel. That sounds like a mess. That's where you come in. Oh, good. Your mission w missions will be investigations of intel regarding the nuclear attack on the TV tower. The western side claims no responsibility. All our branches assure us that they were not involved either. We need to find out who performed the attack, how they got here, and who helped them. We have little time to waste, so let's get started with your first mission. Okay. In order to pull off an attack on the TV tower, like on the TV tower, the attackers must have smuggled their agents into East Berlin. I think I've actually... Well, I've, I've seen the Berlin TV tower. It's a rather impressive building. Um, Jinrich Pollack runs a smuggler's tunnel under the wall. Find him, find it, shut it down. And him? Does he matter? Does anyone <laughs> get in the club, infiltrate their VIP suite? Let's calibrate your new surveillance camera. Ooh, okay. Um, move the camera with WSD or with your cursor. Let's see. Okay. Rotate the camera by pressing Q and E. Ah, nice. And aim back on the agent by pressing V. Nice. Left click, left -click somewhere to move there. Click on the door and choose an interaction to get inside. Ooh, okay. Um, hack open. If we can. Nice. You just hacked a door. Hacking doors will open them without alerting associated guards. Be aware that hacking permanently reduces your available time resource for this mission. Oh, okay, helpful. Um, or good to know, I guess. Right, time resource, down in the bottom right. I need to keep a note of that. Right, coat checker. Um, so, where are we going? There's a weapon scanner up there. Um, I 
Is there a way I can shut this thing down? You gain time resource by exploring rooms. Okay, helpful. Note that rooms stay explored even when you travel back in time. Time resource is collected in the lower right corner. Actions and passing time cost time resource. When you run out of time resource, you also won't be able to undo actions anymore. Right. So, which means you might fail a mission and campaign, so beware. So, this kind of has a... For want of better terms, we've got a bit of a kind of life is strange element to, to some of this. Right, can we talk to this dude? Right. Uh, welcome to the interrogation interface, aka dialogues. Each answer you choose will influence your target's emotions. Right. Target will... Target replies will also influence their emotions. Try to induce emotions in your favour to win dialogues. Right, so we've got scared and angry, flirty and disgusted, respectful and critical. Right, I get you. Note that you can undo your answers to try a different approach. Right, so Sardonis Delacroix. Um, entry is 10 credits. Uh, I'm a disabled veteran, I've got a card and everything. <laughs> Um, right, I won't be paying that. Um, I'm a stasis agent on duty. Alright, can't turn off that scanner for you though, sorry. Um, I'm on stasis duty, I'm carrying, turn it off now. Mm, okay, right. Uh, okay, I can undo, but... That's gonna cost me. I lost that arm fighting for you, son. How is that? Dragged a kid out of a burning car, I guess? <laughs> um, Pacific Proxy Wars. John took it off. Whatever you say, boss, I don't even like working here. Scared success, nice. Okay. Uh, Rick Younger. Okay, hello. very interesting that, like, it's kind of... Oh, what's that other one uh, that plays around with time? Super Hot, I think. Um, you know, the way the kind of... The, the world only moves when you do. Which is interesting. Okay, so there's a guy over there. Um, this... I need to go and talk to this fella. Arta Gradle. God, this place is busy. Uh, have we met? Um, unlikely. Shame, there's something oddly comforting there. Uh, like swearing after stubbing your toe? <laughs> Sometimes you just need a release. Got something you need to release? I'm not into pain, good night, disgusted failure. God damn it. Um, right, how do I... how is it I do the rewind? Um... Undo. There we go. Right. And... Sometimes you just have to hit something. Nope. Okay. I don't know how I meant to... Deal with you. Sometimes you just need a release, and I can help with that. I'm not trying to do anything to do with pain. Like, ugh. Okay, I shouldn't have the stubbing your toe response, I guess. Um, like an old leather bag. Sometimes you need to just keep life simple. That makes sense. Um. If you want to keep yours simple, tell me the password for the private suite. It's not going to be that easy, is it? No. Um, oh, fuck. Come here. Come here, you git. Um, right, so, unlikely. Kind of works a little. Uh, like, ein konnte be a trinken. Okay. My life is never simple. Fuck's sake, I don't know how to deal with this fella. 
Who else can I talk to? Is there anybody else I can talk to? I can talk to this guy. Right. Well, aren't you a queer fellow? I beg your pardon. Not my choice of words, but okay. <laughs> Any friend of Dorothy's is a friend of mine. What's with these people? Who the hell is Dorothy? <laughs> um, Dorothy and I go way back. Dorothy, me, and Jindrick Pollack. No doubt flirting his way into the suit pants of everyone in the private suite. Um... Access to the private suite. Impressive. Meet me in the private suite and I'll show you something more impressive. Stained glass heart will get you in. Nice! Okay. We got the password that we need. So, where do we go from here? The private suite is this way? Back door guard. Okay. Um... Where do I go for the private suite? These are VIP guests. VIP guest. Um, I don't know. Over this way, maybe? They know. Brace for more heat. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean, then? Oh, wait. Bodyguard. I, I think I need to go and talk to him. Yes? Stained glass heart. Right, we're in. Nice. Right. Who let you in here? Um. Okay. Where's Jindrick? I'm Pe Peter, his son. What do you want with him? Do you know about his tunnel under the wall? You're crazy. Nobody does that anymore. Stasis suddenly not got good at being one step ahead. Fucking technology. If that's the case, then I've got time to investigate you, then. Ooh, yes! Alright, I love him, but this is his mess. Go to the first execution complex, get a drag idol from the gallery there. You'll need it to reach him at Sodom. I don't understand any of this dialogue, but alright. <laughs> uh, right. What's it? Okay, so the car is there. Do I need to... Oh, right, I need to just get back to the car. Sure thing. Kind of weird that he just takes like his one. Oh dear, hello. A hostile agent with an SMG. Can I. I'm not going to be able to get to the car in time, am I? Ooh! <laughs> nice! Just got there without him seeing me. Oh, fucking Christ, that was. This is interesting, isn't it? Alright, mission evaluation screen. Cool. Yep. And leftover time resources turned into credits. Nice. Credits can be spent in the shop right after this. Sweet. Okay, welcome to the shop. Here you can buy and upgrade weapons and time abilities. You can also get augmentations to upgrade your agent. Last but not least, you can heal your agent if he got injured. Okay. That's handy. Um... Okay, so, pistol. What could we do? Oh, we can upgrade. Shotgun, SMG, Cyber Fist, Rifle, or the Persuader. Persuader unleashes a cloud of pheromones to, that causes your target to fight by your side when you use permission. Interesting. Right, I've got two and a half thousand credits at the moment. I'm half tempted to just upgrade the pistol for the time being. Um... Ooh, body armor. Fucks capacitor. <laughs> Increases the maximum time resource. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go with body armor for the time being. And... Guess, like, these 500 upgrades. Like, silencer in the neural matrix, at the very least. Um... And... Yeah, I'll upgrade the pistol. I don't know if I might be overdoing it with um, like some of the upgrades, but for now, that'll do. Right. Art Requisition at First Execution Complex. The next step in infiltrating the Underground Railroad smuggling dissidents under the walls is to acquire a token used to vouch for possible applicants. 
In order to get deeper into the operation, you will need one of those, and to find out about the tunnel location itself. Infiltrate the Fursecution Complex, find the secret forbidden art gallery, and open a ho obtain a hollow statue. It's up to you whether to use violence or charm to achieve this. Right. Shouldn't be hard to find this secret gallery. Don't get ahead of yourself. The irony of saying that to a fucking time traveller. <laughs> yeah, he's got a fair point. Okay, so this is where we want to go in. We've got a locked door there. And we've got a front door there. Along with a drone. Okay. What, what's the drone going to do? Is the drone going to be patrolling around? Yes, it is. Okay. So. Um, back door guard. Right. Let's try and... Right, what are you doing here? Uh, drinking. <laughs> oh, well, that's a noble profession, but this ain't the bar. Um, listen, buddy, I just need to get in there, okay? Are you for real? I'm as real as the ground they'll put you in. I like a strong guy. <laughs> Don't tell me when I let you in, okay? <laughs> okay. Somehow that was a flirty success. <laughs> Don't know how that worked. Uh, right. Well, I'm in. Oh dear, hostile agent. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, you're in for a world of pain. Um, I was looking for the secret lab this whole time. Kinky. <laughs> I'm going with that response. <laughs> Are you ever playing your fear with jokes? Um. You've got anything interesting to say? Any last words? Ah, uh, okay, get ready to get hammered, son. Bleed for me. Right. Rather not. Okay, you're now in combat mode. Good. I wanted a tutorial on this. Why are there so many hostiles here, anyway? Seems like the underground organizations running these clubs have been infiltrated by the group responsible for the attack. Not that they would have much love for stasis agents as, as it is. Great. In combat mode, you have to confirm actions with the spacebar. Alright, click somewhere to cue a dash. You can use dash to dodge shots. Right. Go there, I guess. Nice! Oh, dude outside is having a go as well. Are you on my side? You've got a blue thingy. Um, right. Right click somewhere to cue a dash, you can use down. oh yeah, forgot, that's what it's trying to tell me, but I want to, I want to do a shoot, I don't want to do a dash, alright, fine, whoosh, oh god damn it, <laughs> alright, uh, tap shots, they damage and stun, ow, did somebody shoot me? Or was that him? I can't tell. No, that was him. Right, right. Now, right-click the enemy to cue an aim shot. More damage, less stun. Ooh, got him. Keep shooting and finish them. Okay, right, well that... Statue's fucking falling apart, isn't it? Um, oh dear, we got more over here. Collector. What's he collecting? Uh, right, okay, how do I reload? R? There we are. Aim shot. Fire! And we'll do the same again. Is he dead? I'm hoping he's dead. Okay. Here we go. Yep, okay. Right, and there you are. Let's just go down the end. Okay, they're shooting the shit out of this place. Okay, the action you've selected will result in your agent getting hit. Danger tiles on the grid will warn you of incoming danger. Okay, consider taking a different course of action. Alright, well, we'll undo that then. Um. 
dash over there. Steal this. What am I stealing? Oh, thing over there. Holographic statue. Alright, cover will only protect your agent while waiting or reloading in cover. Okay, good to know. Taking shots and moving will expose your agent. Consider waiting in cover by pressing 4 until a shot... Taking a shot is safe. Your agent is exposed by movement. Consider using dash instead by using the right mouse trigger. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, okay. Let's just wait for a moment, I guess. Um... Got no line of sight on him. You are another hostile agent. So, fire. And we'll rush down there. We need to take this fucker out. Reload. Fire. Alright, um... Go around there, then. Ow! Bugger. Alright, agent was hit. Alright, let's undo that. So, what? Stay here? I guess. Alright, no, we'll move over there. No line of sight. No line of sight. Line of sight. Good. Okay. Oh, God. Undo before he was hit. When was he hit last? Or is it back to this point? Why, why am I re-undoing all of this? I don't know why I'm rewinding this much. So I now have no time resource left. Okay. I think we've done enough here. Mm, not quite. Right. Bosh! Oh, and he's dead. Okay. Oh, right, okay. So... <laughs> okay, that's fucking cool. So we, we play out the combat mode. And then we get a whole replay of the whole thing. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, that is pretty fucking sweet. Right, give me this. I've got the statue I need. Get back to the car. Looks like they're trying to do some good. You sure about shutting this thing down? What use is freedom if Berlin becomes scorched earth? A very fair point. Is it worth checking to see what's in the rest of this? Don't get deep, Kai. Doesn't suit you. Uh, oh, right, okay, we're back to the kind of club areas. Uh, oh, hello, weapon scanner. I'm just going to wander around and check all the clubs, I think. Gives me more of the... Uh, Gives me more of the time resource, at the very least. Means I get more credits. The longer you take, the harder it gets. About to bow well, I think. And there's a front door right here, so... Force open. I guess. Oh, dear. Oh, I seem to have upset people. Okay, well, he's dead. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh. Alright, drone terminal. Could hack that. But never mind, I'm just going to get back out to my, t my, uh, my turbo trabby. Nice. Rather pleased with that. Ooh, I can unlock secondary weapons. to unlock that for $500, okay, or 500 credits. All right. Ooh. Can reduce the amount of time resource it costs to undo stuff. That could be handy. 
All right. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap things up for now on this one. I think. Um, I'm really interested, intrigued to see more of this game. It's a very interesting concept, and yeah, it's got an interesting mashup of games like XCOM and Super Hot or Life is Strange. You know, kind of playing around with time mechanics. And I think it's very cool, and I'm, I think it's been quite well implemented. It's taking a little while to adjust to it, but I think once uh, I think once you've got it, then you know once you've got you're kind of used to the controls and the way the game the game's mechanics work, I think it could be a very very interesting game. And I think there's potential for some really cool uh, combat sequences and uh, kind of stealth elements. But I'll wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, be sure to hit that subscribe button, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Apparently, fucking yes! I hate these guys. Oh, shut your face.